here had to walk on not knowing. Had to walk on whatever it didn't feel like. It. Had to walk on whatever it didn't look like. It. Had to walk on whatever it felt like all odds were against you, but you knew that you couldn't give up because you knew that Jesus was the promise. No matter what the world said, no matter what the situation said, no matter what your friend said, you knew that the Lord was a promise keeper. You knew that you just had to keep going. You knew you had to keep marching. You knew you couldn't give in. You knew you couldn't give up. You didn't know why, but you just knew that you could. Thank you, Lord, for Jesus. If you ain't got nothing else to thank the Lord for today, you should be able to thank the Lord for keeping you. Thank you, you you're hindered through without knowing whether it was willingly, willingly unknown or, or willingly ignorant or just simply without knowing. Thank the Lord for keeping you whenever you stepped away and you were there. When we chose so many things above us and we kept on loving. Thank you, Jesus. We're able to be here today with one another and we worship your name. Not because you saw somebody else do it, Lord, but because we know you. Because you first fucked up.
morning with his grace kept chasing. Anybody grateful this morning? Did he look beyond all your faults and saw your needs? What a savior. What a friend.
somebody in your life. Somebody find somebody. Let everybody be either touching or getting touched. Leave no one untouched. Jesus, no, no one untouched. Leave no one untouched. If I could put touch, 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 if we could get that faith, if we could just put touch. After we spit all we've had, after we've tried all we know, if we give the touch, if we give the touch, if we give the touch, if we give the touch. Peter said, Jesus, if that's you, baby, we come with you, Jesus, say, come. Just one word, just come. The word said, for God so loved the world that he gave. Gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever will believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And that Jesus came into the world not to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. So sometimes people are, are just nervous and don't know how to do it. So sometimes we've got to go to them. Because in their minds they're just sitting there saying, I don't know. I don't know how. I feel embarrassed. I'm not sure how this works. I'm, I'm just uncertain. But if I get a touch, I'm sure he'll heal me. Yes.